Human Evolution, and You. Welcome to a super fast overview of human evolution. We are going to be shining a spotlight on a few big turning points in our family's history. Evolution is a scientific approach to discovering our extended family tree. Evolution helps explain how our ancestors transformed over time. It tells the story of how we went from here to here. The figures in this chart represent change over time. However, this simple illustration does not accurately represent the complex nature of evolution as it unfolds over millions of years. Evolution doesn't happen in a neat line. Like any complicated story, there are many twists and turns along the way. Our species is called Homo sapiens. Today, we are the only human species on the planet. However, scientists have discovered that in the past, there were many other different species of humans that were a part of our extended family tree. Humans, where did the journey begin? Did it start with tool use, with fire, or with language? Today, we are traveling back in time and starting the story with the evolution of hands. Humans are primates, and our extended family includes monkeys and apes. All of the primates, including humans, have hands that are remarkably similar. We all have thumbs that wiggle. Our primate ancestors evolved dexterous hands around 55 million years ago. Dexterous, skillful, nimble, agile. With our unique thumbs, we can hold on to things, including each other. What is the next big step in our family history? One branch of the primate family, our own, stood upright. On the diagram, it's a quick jump from here to here. But in reality, this transition took millions of years. Early humans started walking on two feet around six million years ago. Standing upright freed our hands. I can hold babies. I can throw stuff. I can make tools. Early humans began making stone tools around 3.3 million years ago. The next step involved more changes to our physical anatomy. And then we discovered a major new source of power. Around one million years ago, our ancestors learned how to use fire. Now we're cooking with fire. In addition to cooking, fire also brought us warmth, protection, and light in the darkness. These early people gathered around the flames. Generation after generation passed down the knowledge of fire making. Language emerged. Over the millennia, our ancient ancestors created the foundations of human culture. During the next phase of evolution, our ancestors start to look a lot like you and me. Anatomically modern humans evolved around 300,000 years ago. Anatomically modern? What does that mean? It means that basically, we are physically the same as people that lived hundreds of thousands of years ago. If a baby from today and a baby from long ago traded places, if the two babies tumbled through time and switched lives with each other, theoretically, each child would be able to adapt to its new environment and fit in. The Stone Age child would grow up and learn to use a cell phone. The baby from the 21st century would learn how to hunt and survive in the wild. Back to the story of our ancient ancestors. They had tools. They had fire. And at some point, early humans started decorating themselves and making art. Archaeologists have discovered beads that were made 100,000 years ago. 
the oldest known cave paintings were made over 60,000 years ago. As humans spread across the continents, many different styles of art evolved. Across the globe, art plays a major role in human culture. That brings us to the kind of people we are today. What makes us human? Everyone has their own opinion. In fact, having different opinions is part of what makes us human. Even though many things are different about the way we live now, we still have a lot in common with our family members from the past. Let's take a minute to look at what you and your ancestors have in common. If you could reach through time and hold hands with an ancestor from millions of years ago, your two hands would be remarkably alike. Yesterday and today, handheld tools are central to our daily lives. Fire is still a major force. Like our ancestors, we make art and decorate ourselves. Let's review the major turning points that we've learned about today. First, we evolved dexterous hands. Then we learned to walk upright. We started making tools. We discovered how to control fire. Over time, we started making art and jewelry. You are a part of this extended family. Keep in mind that these milestones are a small part of a much larger family history. All of the people on Earth can trace their roots back to the same groups of early humans. Stretching back through time, we are all one big extended family. You belong to a family that is creative, caring, skillful, courageous, and full of surprises.